All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. The Cincinnati Bengals get the job done once again. 34 unanswered points. Then you had the you know pretty desperate touchdown there at the end of the game for Tampa Bay. But another win. Cincinnati. Six straight wins. They've won eight of their last nine. Their defense is back to top ten. This Tampa Bay defense, I know that they've been missing pieces the whole season. You saw it in the first half. Cincinnati couldn't get anything going. They're a good defense. But they found a way to win. That field goal to end the first half was huge. That defense stepped up, forced turnover after turnover after turnover after turnover. Four turnovers in the second half for Tampa Bay. Welcome back to the channel, though, man. Today we got a quick little recap here. I'm without my usual setup right now. So I'll make it quick. Hit that like button. Hit that sub button for more NFL content. If you guys want more Bengals videos, show some love down below. Let's try and get 500 likes on tonight's video. It's a late night right now, all right? I'm amped up, though. I'm still amped up. That was game of the... Eh, actually, you know, the Giants watched it. Was, that was a pretty good game. But to me, this was game of the week because this was the tale of two halves. Joe Burrow, it didn't start pretty, man. They couldn't get a first down for the life of them. They couldn't convert a third down for the life of them. But Joe Burrow... With the run attack not working, just 21 carries, 53 yards for 2.5 yards per carry. Saw some AJP Ryan. He got a couple. He got 24 yards, 3.4 yards per carry. Nothing to write home about. Joe Mixon was getting stuffed. Just 11 attempts for 21 yards. Joe Burrow, only 200 yards, but he finished with a rating of 104.7. He had four touchdowns. Did have an interception, but four touchdowns. It doesn't always have to be pretty. There's no pictures on the score sheets all right it doesn't have to be pretty a win is a win and i know cincinnati will definitely take this win well to add insult to injury for the rest of the afc the desperate baltimore ravens without lamar jackson i will add they lost yesterday to the cleveland browns so cincinnati now is leading the division which is funny to me because I remember making a video saying since like this past week and the, the odds were like Cincinnati, their chances of winning the division were like 30%. I was looking at that I'm thinking to myself, are we watching the same games? Are you guys watching the Ravens games? Are you guys watching the Bengals games? What is going on? This team has taken down squads like Tampa Bay, Kansas City, Tennessee in this win streak here, and they should be feared. Kansas City overtime victory against Houston I still am not bought in I know they don't have the most difficult schedule to end the season I still am feeling a Raider upset over them in the last week I genuinely think it's probably 50 50 maybe even more like 60 40 in the Bengals favor for getting the first seed in the AFC because if they are at home I would be terrified they've just won lost their five and one on the season at home so this was a statement victory, big time. You got New England next weekend, Christmas Eve, might I add, that's going to be a fun-ass game. And then you finish it off against Buffalo and Baltimore, so just keep riding that momentum. But today's game, I truly like don't even really have words for it. That defense stepped up, man. That defense stepped up big time. Logan Wilson, once again, with 15-plus tackles today at 15, nine of them were solo. He got a sack. The were, Tom Brady fumbled it twice. Giovanni Bernard fumbled it. They were causing interceptions to TB12. That second half, I can't even imagine being a Buccaneers fan. I really can't. It was crazy. But honestly, once Joe Burrow and the Bengals offense finally started to pick up some first downs, they finally started to move the chains right there in the two-minute warning, the, the two-minute drill to end the first half. I had a strong feeling they were going to win that game. I don't really know how the game started as desperate as it did, but it did. But still, a win is a win, and we're going to be talking about this team all damn week because they're 10-4, and four, and this was, it's not easy when on the road. And it's also not easy when you're down 17-0 after two quarters. Or for most of two quarters, I should say. So, what a statement victory for Cincinnati. They really, they rallied together. Resilient victory. Stay tuned for more Bengals content. I'll get going. We'll be back at our normal setup tomorrow night. So, hit that like button. Hit that sub button. Stay tuned for a video tomorrow. But guys, let me know your thoughts on tonight's game. Peace.